Hey guys, it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today we're going to go over how to thread your sewing machine. This is super easy, sort of, but you want to get it right and it's really easy to mess things up if you're not a manual reader. By this I mean you want to pull up your machine's manual and read through it. It is super useful and to be honest, I learned how to thread my machine I'm just messing around so um, it was later on that I realized I had this huge this great resource at my hands um, this is actually my third machine but my first machine I just kind of tried to figure it out as I went along and I realized recently actually in the past few years that the manual tells me everything I need to know and you need to get yours when you're doing this I'm going to show you how my machine is threaded and your machine may be a little bit different. So you want to make sure to check that out just in case there are some differences. We're going to show you how to thread your upper thread as well as your bobbin. And I'm going to show you how to wind your bobbin as well. Let me get started showing you how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to thread your bobbin. So you're going to start by putting your um, your thread on the holder. Um, and in this case, well, let's see if I can get a better view. So we're going to start by going through the thread guide. And there's, I'll show you a close up in a second. Okay, so we went through this guide here. And now... We just start our machine. We want to hold on to this thread here. Just for a second. Right there. And then we can just wind our bobbin. Okay, it stopped. To take it off, we're going to push it to the left. And I'm going to pull this through. Okay, so your next part is to put the bobbin inside your sewing machine. So you want to learn to thread your bobbin. You want to make sure you don't have any loose ends. So you see this little loose end from where we started to thread? I don't think you can see it. It's probably not a big deal, this one, but sometimes if you get a really long one, you just want to snip it off because if you don't, oh, sorry, can't really see it, um, it can get caught up. So we're going to stick it in like this and there's a little hook here let's see here there's a little hook here it goes around it and it comes up here and it goes over here and i need to find my piece of... and then we put our top back on we just snip it right off there um some machines don't i don't i don't know if all machines have that but that's how that is done Okay, so now we want to go ahead and thread the upper, upper thread. <laughs> so you want to make sure you have a raised um, presser foot and make sure that your lever here is in the most upright position. So you're going to turn your hand wheel there. So you're going to secure your spool. Can we see this? Oh my goodness. You're going to secure your spool, make sure it's on there good. And you should have some type of guide here. This one goes all the way over here. And actually there's a whole thing saying the directions on my machine. And I think my old machine had that too. So you're going to go around this just like it says. And then you're going to go in this slit here. So you go all the way down here, all the way back up and around the metal piece. So that metal piece holds the thread in place. You're going to come down here. <laughs> At this point it goes around here and there's a little area where you have a little hook next to the needle. Okay. And then you can put it through the eye of the needle. So <clears throat> and I try to tuck my thread anything okay all 
right? So there's that. No big deal, right? And when you take your first stitch, it will grab the bobbin thread. And I don't know if you could see, I don't know if you saw that move, but that was this looping up so it could collect the bobbin thread. So when it starts sewing, it'll have that. It's always good to just do that first stitch and grab the bobbin thread before you start sewing. Um, otherwise, sometimes the machine can get caught up. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I've got lots more information about how to thread your machine on my blog. And um, that's pretty detailed, so go check it out. It's DIYDanielle.com. And make sure to subscribe if you're looking for more sewing projects and sewing tutorials and other types of DIY projects. We do a lot of different things around here. So thanks so much. Enjoy. Take care.